everyone welcome back to my channel study junction and today we are going to discuss the most important questions from chapter 8 that is comparing quantities so i shall tell you that this chapter has a great percentage by the way this chapter is about percentage and it has a great amount of questions which are asked in the exam cp sp discount mp and all uh, those things and ratios are asked in the exam so make sure you do these questions very well so first question example one is a very basic one um after that try this is not at all important exercise 8.1 is important you just uh, want to have a you just have to um have a basic knowledge about how to find ratios and you can do these questions and this is also important to convert the following ratios to percentage it can be asked for one or two marks after that this question number fifth is important if sameeli had 600 rupees left at is spending 75% of her money how much did she have in the beginning it's very important question i'm telling you these type of questions are mostly asked in the exam after that sixth question is very very important make sure you do this this question after that this is the most important topic from this chapter that is finding the increase or decrease percent so make sure you do this very well example 2 can be do uh, can be done after finding discounts is there so discount this question will be asked in your exam that's my guarantee the this the uh, numbers will be changed but the sum will remain the same what is discount and discount percent it can be asked in two marks three marks also four marks and then this question is also very important make sure you do that try these i also have uh, tr- this chapters try these are also very important because these also have important questions in them if uh, you can just practice them you can increase your practice estimation in percentages it's not at all important after that profit and loss cp and sp so it's very important as i already said so this question is very important for this after that question example 6 example 7 are also also very important if you solve rd sharma you will find that the book has a dozen treason whatever i can say it has some it has such a good practice for these questions now like if you do those you will not have any fear for these questions that this chapter is difficult i've heard many of my classmates saying that this chapter is the most important but last year was not facing this chapter difficult at all because i used to practice it a lot using rd sharma book and basically ncrt after that sales tax value added tax it's very important we all know that these taxes have been removed from india but still these are present in books and you have to calculate them so don't think that these type of questions will not ask because uh, they are not uh, present in india you have to do eighth ninth question very important then you can also practice try this but it's not very important for the exam point of view after that uh, this question is very important this try this second question is also is very important very important i must say i was asked this question in my exam but just changed values in the same question exercise 8.2 i must tell you there is no sh- no shortcut for this exercise that you have to do each and every question thoroughly of this exercise because any question from this exercise can be asked to you compound interest so make sure you revise the formulas very well first you need to have a basic knowledge about simple interest then only you can find compound interest because if you don't know the basic knowledge then you are not able to do compound interest question so example 10 is very important it's just a simple uh, amount to be calculated with compound interest or i think simple interest after that uh, um compound interest questions we are looking for so here we are told how to calculate it 
and then example 11 finally to calculate the compound interest annually semi annually will also be asked quarterly will also be asked to make sure you do it very well see the question on the try these it's important for your practice you can practice as many questions as you can and then the semi annually part it's also very important it's also called half yearly so make sure you don't get confused see these try these see the try these sums these are also important example 12 make sure you do it again try these try these have uh, important questions in them this example 13 is very very important because it has the um, rate in its fractional uh, um, rational number form and you have to calculate it annually after that another important topic from this chapter applications of compound interest formula so these are the twice type of questions these three types which will be asked in the exam and the examples are given so make sure you do that this exercise this chapter you can't ignore that you will just um, make uh, may, uh, do one or two questions and you will get good marks no no absolutely no you have to practice each and every question twice or thrice then only you will clear your concepts make sure you do these kind of questions like two and a half years one and a half year these make a very important uh, place in the exam see this whole exercise no excuse for this exercise you have to practice this exercise thoroughly make sure you do that and here's a shortcut for you to revise the formulas when you are just uh, very busy and you just need to revise the formulas in a hurry so you can just open it up and uh, read this quick summary that's the end you can also make notes you can write all the formulas by yourself here and then it's the end of the video hope you have found i've given you many tips to uh, crack this chapter don't think that this chapter is difficult so you'll um, just fail in this chapter no if you practice well you'll become perfect in this chapter so make sure you do that so this was it for this video hope you liked it share my uh, video subscribe to my channel and also like this video bye hope to see you in the next video